That's what do you think of these lineups, friend? Um, I think this is like the most, almost one of the most captains mode looking games I've seen in this tournament actually. How many games of this tournament have you actually watched? As Shadow Demon is going to get initiated upon. Oh, they're going to miss the blast. He's going to survive. Believe me. No, it's I was it's wrong. 1437. He never survives in the beginning of the okay. game. Clockwork yeah. Cogs into battery assault. Legion Commander getting somewhat low. They're just manning up completely. It looks like S4 is going to take the brunt of the damage. Attempting to run away, but that battery assault is so strong in a 1v1 <laughs> What's matchup. going on in this lane? <laughs> They're taking turns at killing each other. He's got dual now. AUI. Yeah, he does have dual. I mean, this... You were kind of talking about this early game, but... LC in general just feels so underwhelming a lot of times because he doesn't have any comeback mechanic at all. He can take a little bit of damage here as Clockwork gets a kill on the Coddle. We're going to focus on this bot lane's MSS, gets the battery assault up, but Jarex is there with the save. So S4 will walk away safely. Oh, oh nice. As I say, they get hooked right in the ass. And down S4 goes. Um, in this particular game, I don't know how good it actually is against the dire heroes as such. Oh. Like, you're still going to get lifted by Rubik. Oh, it's a good arrow. Yeah. He could spin TP, but yes. Rose is here. Really I should I try for that, that, actually, with his swan and region rune. Oh, he popped the region. Well, he's going to attempt it as Clockwork gets a kill on Coddle. Guess what? Clockwork nothing got a new kill. There. Anna does fall down, though. So it's a two for nothing. Oh, oh no. They this smoke will be up. a really big kill. He MSS got the does off. not have hookshot as of yet. And that's he tried for the pseudo hook. He was a bit too late, though. He has it now. He can still do it. Yeah, they're going to see him. Oh. And he hits it. Oh, he even knocks Into back Jerax. Beautiful play. Very nice. Knocks, but a beautiful steal from Jerax. Cog's going to push everybody away, but it's not going to save the Nog at the end of the day. Down, no tail goes. And Ana might be next. He's going to pop his blade through. He took a little bit of damage from the waveform. Right clicks will commence. MSS looking for some cogs. He's going to push him away. And actually, it's barely enough damage to the right clicks to finish off the Juggernaut See, as well. This is the kind of kill that's big. So they kill Naga, and they hunt down a secondary, and now they get the mid-tier one. This is game-winning stuff, this kind of play. Is, this is maybe the biggest play of the game, which just happened right there. They can force the buyback if they kill him on his side of the map and their lanes aren't pushed, but that's oh. a big if. Jerax finds SVG. Who gets Omni Slash to death? Oh, and this is a big kill if they get the clock here. This is so much gold. He has a godlike streak. Yep, they'll kill him. A lot of the gold going to S4, 718 to be exact. He doesn't get the dual damage, though. In the meantime, Tier 2 tower taken out at top. Naga Siren oh. uses her song. They S4. recall as well. Of course, the whole team's going to be And waveform in. Marana's going to use her ult in the meantime. Rose oh, attempting to run away. Bonds. Ow. Morphing up to strength as much as he can. He's going to get stuck in place thanks to the ensnare and brought down as three dead. I think this this build is starting to become the norm, and it's mm. really, really good to get Maelstrom oh. on this hero. Oh, nice to Arrow doesn't connect, but hey, it's okay. Good vision. S4 with the ult, dual damage. So easy. 42 damage to boot right now. So, oh. So you think AFK, that's better than... Uh, that doesn't matter. He's got the R button. It's all good. That's like the ultimate. Oh, actually, they're finding. Oh my God, AUI! Wow. He gets insta give. And now Rose is dying. Yeah, this game is falling apart now yeah, for NP. You prefer this build, this game, to, uh, instead of Diffusal? Yeah, for which sure. Which takes off the Ghost Scepter and. Yeah. Okay. I think oh. so. MSS hook shots and then immediately regrets oh, his decision. Line them up into arrow. into arrow. No chaotic offering for Warlock. No buyback either, and this might be the beginning of the end for good NP. Yeah, good disruption, gonna mitigate a little bit of damage, but how much Oh, he will it leaped matter? already, he got dual during leap. Yeah, eight oh. seconds left on that cooldown. He's literally just stuck in place, but he will still live to see another day. Checks the rune, doesn't oh, pick it up. No and tail. Then from... Oh, that's Song a good Song of Siren. Roshan's not low enough for them to steal. They're gonna scout it out. I recall in five. I mean, NP are pretty low. Oh. That damage from Caudal is huge. AUI forced to strength morph out. Clockwork, that is a, essentially a dieback at the end of the day. AUI now on the run. That's the Diffusal Blade coming into play. Disrupt it up. There's a Chaotic Offering onto two. Will it be enough? AUI stunned up. Oh, and there's the duel. That is a dead Morphling, ladies and gentlemen. His buyback, of course. And now this is just going to be a cleanup for OG. Warlock next on the list. I mean, this is okay, right? It gives him good strength. The evasion can be nice against a hero like Morphling. And then, oh, then God. you can We're make this play. Coming to play right away, and that is a dead morphling. Did he use buyback recently? Let's take a look. No, but he doesn't have it. He anyway. doesn't have it. I'm and afraid that is this a is uh, no bueno. I mean, this is a close to 25k net worth lead for OG, and they have the Naga. 39 minutes in, Juggernaut oh, has only had to do much this game. 
MSS. So he, I don't know if he can get out of this, actually. <laughs> S4 pops a BKB. There's a chaotic offering, essentially on just one hero. And there's the song again, coming into play over and over. And GG is called as Envy dies. So game one going to OG in convincing fashion, I have to say. At least past the 20 minute mark. Very I'm very surprised. Played. Very, very surprised in elimination mode that they gave them Naga. As long as OG are committing their Spirit Breaker up top. Oh boy, we're gonna have a dive here already. Jerax, Tangoing yeah, well that's up an alternative the tower. Way of doing no it. in the meantime, he'll be left alone. They really want to focus on this Dazzle. That first blood, very important for them. He's leveled Shadow Wave. He has Grave actually, just got level 2. And now here's a TP support from Fly, who has a passive Greater Bash leveled up. Jerax gonna Grave up. Who's gonna get the first blood? That is the question. Looks like it's gonna be really close, actually. Oh, they get two kills, but first blood does go to NP, I believe. And now Ogre in a lot of trouble. The charge is up. Oh. Nice bash from Fly. The RNG is in his favor. Slark, six seconds left on Pounce. That is. Uh... Sunstrike was not even close, but I think they're. Never mind. There, I like that. SVG okay. getting charged up into a Sunstrike, and down he goes. NP in the meantime. Gonna attempt to run away, but Rose is gonna be one caught off guard. Bashed Clearly up the into the cold snap. The game so far. TP support coming in. MSS with oh, a nice support. Doesn't have mana now. Fly, uh -oh. you're dead. So it's a one for one. And Envy is not done yet. Has the breathe fire. Stun up in four seconds. Blocking Ogre Magi. No big deal. Uh, Invoker and Slark as cores both need time. They are not ready yet for this. And well, if they do end up losing the tower anyway, this is a problem. Yeah, the OG are doing the charge, everything they can Dragon to hold Knight, it. Dragon about to lose Dragon Form right now. Sunstrike oh, will miss completely miss. But Brewmaster pops the ult, and then they're going to find the Abaddon pretty easily. Now Envy might be next on the list. SVG tethers up, doesn't have his ult. He's only level 3. Dragon Knight getting quite low, pops the wand. He's very tanky with the raindrop, but not tanky enough. His Io might be next on the list, but S4 back into regular form. Now it's we'll about fly. minimizing casualties on the way out. And charges in on Io. Another Sunstrike miss. AUI, surprise, he was in a creep the whole time. They're not really they're communicating away. these Ooh. Sunstrikes that well, it seems. Yeah, it's a, some they do get Abaddon on the other side as oh, well from the Invoker. Yeah, they have Grave, he's fine. No tail. Gray. <laughs> he was actually faking animation there, surprisingly enough. Uh, Jerax. Jerax will he die now. He can't get out in time. Ogre has a stun. You can do it, Jerax. I believe in you. Nope. Meanwhile, mid lane. Great call, onto Suns Dragon fan. It's a 3v1. And here comes the Io. Still only level 3, though. And the primal split comes about as well. Dragon Knight getting healed up, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The right clicks will suffice. Charge. They're going to continue on. Ogre Magic is very, very tanky, but you see how much the damage the primal split Fire Panda does, and down he goes. Jesus. What's that? I'm not sure who ate the tome for NP, but Io is still severely under level oh, right now, wow. level 4. Weave again, Ogre. no tail, onto Rose. Oh, the Sunstrike will finally hit, but it's going to be shared with the creep. So, not a whole lot of damage done at the end of the day, and the Sun is like stacking up on the Slark. The beautiful grave. Pops his ult, here comes Primal Split. This is where they need to worry. Lifestealer getting stunned up. Look at the burst damage from the Holy Shadow. Holy crap, Holy there's damage. Oh, they're all woven. Keeping that was on definitely a weave on that Lifestealer. Yeah, the weave is disgusting, but it is now. Has dissipated, it's been long enough. It's a two for nothing. Ogre does find the kill on the Spirit Breaker. Anna, very, very deep. Has Sun Strike available to him. It's going to get stunned up. Envy, Dragon Tail in two seconds. But there's a nice counteractive Thunderclap. Sun Strike again is going to whiff. Envy pops the Dragon for him. They're trying to find Ana, but they might have to settle for the Brewmaster if they even can. There comes the Pounce. The fight is somehow continuing. Envy in a 2v1. The Breathe Fire will miss onto Ana, who's going for the Rose Kill. He's going to be able to get that 1v1. In the meantime, Envy getting healed up by the Io. Oh, Beautiful the Shadow Rose. Angular Plague! Dragon Knight is dead! And oh. Io, the last remaining member in this vicinity for SVG, attempting to run away. A couple more right clicks will do it. AUI a little bit too late to save him. Ana in the meantime, TPing out to the right clicks. Is it going to be enough? Wow. Damn, that Barely was so sexy that. from OG. Very, very nicely played fight. I am erect right now, for sure. Rose, in the meantime, getting charged up. We're not done yet. I, uh, right we are. Done. He's not coming. We're done. That looked like it was gonna... Actually, no tell. Hang on. He's dead. Oh. Do they have vision? Don't tell me they get this. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, is he gonna try to turn this, no tail? And the charge comes in into the Spirit Breaker ult. That's one kill for trying to dive onto Nota. They actually punished that somehow. No one's even close to 100, and this is just the nature of the game where one team has this kind of early aggressive lineup. Oh, no tail. Debuting the Shadow Blade. Who does he go for? Everybody's relatively tanky. He'll find 1437 on that Ogre Magi. Here comes the Sunstrike. It will Very connect. Nice 
very fast kill. Primal split coming to effect. Eternal Envy pops the dragon from him. If he goes down, this is huge trouble for MP. He gets bashed up fine. The Neatemps could be focusing on Life Stealer. Is Io level 6? No, he's still level 4. Oh my god, they can't do anything with this Io, unfortunately. Shadow Wave was being used to full effect, but infest into a creep. That's three kills here for OG. And they're just going to let this creep go down as No-Tail knows that AUI is inside that creep. They're going to chase down this MSS. Going to attempt to TP out. Actually, might get away. Nope. Charge just in time. Sunstrike, not needed. Thunderclap will finish him off. In the meantime, AUI attempting to TP out. He will be the lone survivor, I believe. That was four kills, was it not? The Tome must have not been used by the Wisp. And in addition, the way that they laned aggro Trilane and the way that he got sacrificed from it in the end just costs them way too much. They're going to lose here. I mean, Envy just went down to right clicks. This is getting out of control. Over well. OG yeah. is looking to take this 2-0. I mean, this is an NP push strat which has backfired to the highest degree. They got a couple towers, but the network lead was relatively even, even OG having a slight lead, and they just have snowballed out of control now. You baited me. Uh-oh. He jumps in. Did you just say a Twitch emote? All right, I, let's go! I, oh god, Brewmaster is actually in a lot of trouble. He gets oh, grave at the last second. Primal split to follow, I'm sure. There it goes. They've used a lot of resources trying to get down that Brewmaster, all for naught. Buyback by Ayo, who's now level 6, by the way. 19 minutes in the game. Dragonite getting completely surrounded and bursted down. He looks so squishy against this OG team. And this is, in all likelihood, the beginning of the end for NP as AUI is getting right click down. No tail, kiting as much as he can. We'll live through the day. And three dead. Rose next on the list. GG's come out from Envy. OG take this in an extremely convincing game, too. Uh, there's not much more to say than they just they got really outplayed in this game. They they lost the stage of the game that their lineup was the strongest 